Welcome to the overview of the Metastock Power User Toolkit. In this video I'm going to explain to you what's included in the toolkit, how to interpret the tools, and of course show you how to use them on your charts. If you'd like to increase the size of this screen for easier viewing, just click on the four-headed icon located in the lower right hand corner of your screen. If you'd like to exit out of the full screen mode, just hit your escape key. Before we get started, it's important that we share with you our disclaimer, which states that this is designed to be an educational video and any of the signals that will be shown to you are strictly for demonstration purposes only. When you install the Metastock Power User Toolkit, you'll receive six different indicators, one exploration, one expert advisor, and one template. Let's begin by showing you the template that's included in the toolkit. To get started, the chart that we're using for this demonstration is a chart of what's called an ETF of the NASDAQ index. The symbol for it is QQQQ, so there's four Qs. Now, to apply the template to the chart, just right click anywhere inside the window, choose Apply Template, and then scroll and find the template which is called the MS2010 Colored Volume Template. Highlight it. And then down at the bottom of this window, you can choose whether or not you want to replace your existing chart and whether or not you want to use the template's periodicity. So I'll put a check mark in both of those boxes and then click on the open. This template is going to color code your volume bars for you. So let's zoom in and take a closer look at this. So I'm going to click on the circle with the plus sign down here in the lower right hand corner. And the way that this works is that it's looking at each volume bar in relation to the previous day. If the volume bar is higher or greater than the previous day, it'll actually color code the volume bar to be green. And if it's lower than the previous day, it'll color code it to be red. The first thing that I did when I loaded this template was to increase the size of the volume bar so I can see them a little bit easier. So to do that, just click directly on one of the green bars. And then down here at the very bottom of my screen, I'll choose a little bit heavier line. And then I'll do the same thing for the red bar. So I'll select somewhere inside the window, click on the red bar, and then click on a little bit heavier line. And that'll make it a little bit easier to see. Another change that I did that you might want to do as well is I want to shut off this title bar inside the volume window. So to do that, just right click inside the volume window, choose the inner window, choose properties, and inside this window you can choose whether or not you want to display the title bar. So I'll unselect that box, click on OK, and that way the title bar is then shut off. But even with it being shut off, I can still grab this line by holding down my left mouse button and resizing the volumes just the way that I want it. Then the last thing that I did to this template here is to save it. And that way if I save it then I can apply this to anything else and I don't have to go back and redo those same things that I just showed you how to do. So to save this template, I'll just click on File, Save As, and then at the bottom of this window underneath the type here, we need to select Template, and then select that template by scrolling down to the Metastock 2010 template, highlight it, and then click on the Save button. It'll ask you if you want to overwrite the existing template, and if you do, just click on Yes, and your changes are saved. 